Hello, just a mom here, and I just finished building the label Welcome to Apocalypse Berg set number 70840. It comes with 3,178 pieces and has 12 minifigures. And here's a set all built, and it's gorgeous. Here are the minifigures, and as you can see, there's a lot of them. But I'm going to start with my favorite, Harlequin. She has this really nice looking bat that has this printed silver markings on here. She has this really awesome looking face that has eyeshadow running. I love her hair, which she has two pigtails and there's some blue color on here and red on this side and the back. I can take it off, she looks really creepy. In the back here, she's got this happy face with some blue eyeshadow smearing also. Her uh, torso says, Daddy's Little Monster. <laughs> and it's a blue jacket and red and white t-shirt that's ripped. She has a red arm on this side and a blue arm on this side. And on the back, it's blue and red checkered. She has like a cuff right here on the red side. She has a like a bikini bottom <laughs> in black and she has some uh, stockings on with a buckle right here and some brown boots. And in the back it's blue and red and she has brown boots. Very cool minifigure. Let's put her hair back on. <laughs> I'm Batman. He has his battering right here. He has this really cool chest armor. Then let's talk about his Batman mask. It's pretty cool. It's hard, hard rubber. He has a skull on his face with his eye mask above his uh, eyebrows. And in the back, he has a uh, like, what's going on? What's happening face? <laughs> I love this cape right here because I don't want to forget about it, but it's really cool. It has holes in it. He's been through some stuff. <laughs> and this chest armor is really nice looking. It's rubber on the sides. See? And then he has a printed um, chest armor with a red bat on it, which is unusual. Oh, his torso came off. Let's see. He's doing that a lot. And let's see his torso. See, there's a cape. His torso is black with some brown belts on it. In the back is black with brown belts. He has um, some side printing on his arm, like these metal plates. And there's this cuff with metal plates on it and black glove. On this side is a brown cuff with a metal plate and black gloves. He has a yellow utility belt. He has uh, black pants with some silver on it and brown boots with silver on it. And the back is black and brown. Very awesome. Third favorite, Green Lantern. He has this brown hair and a green eye mask. Take it off. You can see the back. It's so goofy. Oh my God. Look how hilarious he looks. Crazy. <laughs> he has this side um, armor, which has these points right here and a sage green cape. Let's take that off so you can see his torso in the back. Yeah, pretty nice looking. Yes, I don't want to put the goofy face on, it's just hysterical. <laughs> ah, he has this green torso, which has like a silver link around his neck. And there's his symbol. In the back, it's green. He has a black gloves on and a black arm on this side with a cuff. He has a silver belt with red on it. His pants are kind of ripped on this side, black, and some silver plating on there with a happy face right here. And green boots. The back is black and green. The next up is Where My Pants Guy. He has this brown hammer, which is double sided. He has his pompadour styled hair which is reminiscent of the 50s style hair he has a really angry face that he's like ready to battle in the back he has this embarrassed look i wonder why 
His shoulder armor is silver and it has some little points on here. He has a blue Hawaiian shirt. As you can see, it has little flowers on there that makes it Hawaiian looking. With some belts on it and in the back, it's also blue Hawaiian with some belts. His arms are blue and he has no pants, hence the name. Black boots with a metal plate. Next up is Larry the Barista. He has his breathing apparatus right here, that's funny. A brown mohawk. You can see he has his red stitch right here above his eyebrow. He must have just got it in battle. He has his beard here, that's pretty cool looking. In the back there's nothing. His torso is uh, he has a white shirt underneath his brown apron, which has a mug with a skull face on there and a handkerchief in his pocket with a Larry tag. And it extends to the bottom right here, the apron. He has a chain right here. In the back, he has a white shirt with the apron ties, which is rope. He has blue pants on and in the back it's blue. Next up is Chainsaw Dave. And as you can see, he is really angry. Look at that facial expression, oh my goodness. He has yellow hair, see the face? And in the back, he looks angry. <laughs> he has his really cool chainsaw. His chest has a some belts here with a skull in the middle and in the back it's some belts a silver belt he has these really cool tattoos it looks like a chainsaw right here and on the other side I'm not really sure this might be like a pocket knife with some flames his legs are um, printed with a like blue Hawaiian shorts See the flowers in the back and he has some sandals. Next up is Bad Cop Scribble Cop. He has this really cool facial expression. Now let's talk about his handcuffs so we can get that out of the way. Gray handcuffs. His helmet is black and white. You can see black in the front and white in the back. Really cool shades with this really unhappy and angry look. In the back, he has <laughs> the scribble face. And he looks really mad <laughs> and funny. He has a gray armor with some points right here. His jacket is black with a gold badge on it and a white undershirt. He has black arms with brown gloves on both sides. His torso in the back is, I guess, it looks like it's a robot with some wrenches coming out, but I'm thinking it's Bad Cop and <laughs> Scribble Cop put together. His legs are black with some gold printing and silver printing on it and black boots. And in the back is black. Next up is Mohawk. She has this crazy looking weapon, which looks like a torch. Her facial expression is she looks really mad. And she has this like silver eye mask, or it could be silver paint. And she has black mohawk in the back. There's nothing. Her torso is silver with some brown belts on it. In the back, it's silver, beige, and brown. She has a right arm in red with a brown glove and a yellow arm on the other side with a brown glove. Her pants are gray with some silver, I'm not sure what they are, but some silver tags, maybe some belts on it. Here's Emmett. Everything is awesome. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. He has his white coffee cup to go. His hair piece is brown with a goofy smile. <laughs> but he looks really scared over here. Oh my goodness. 
He has a orange construction vest with some silver in the front and blue undershirt. And the back is orange and silver. His arms are blue from his undershirt. He has orange pants with his name tag that says Emmett. Here's Lucy. She's holding a crossbow, which is pretty cool. I love that she has this hair and goggles combo right here with this blue piece in the front and pink. It's a little cute little ponytail. See that? Very cute. She has this confident look in her face. And in the back, she got this really angry face. She has a hard plastic scarf. See that? And this, these arrows right here in the back. Okay, let's show the rest of her. She has this really nice looking torso. It's, it's black with the blue and pink on it. In the back, it's black with blue and pink. She has arm printing on this side, blue and pink. And on this side, she has some blue and pink and brown printing. She has a black glove on this side, no glove here. Brown pants, a belt, and black boots that are laced up. And in the back, it's brown and black. Next up is Fuse. He has this really nice looking welder's mask that has flames coming out. Very cool in the back. He has a uh, patch on his right eye. And as you can see, there's like some stitching here. So it must be a scar. He has a funny looking beard. <laughs> in the back, there's nothing. His chest is a white t-shirt with some brown belts on it. In the back is a white t-shirt with brown belts. He has brown gloves on, brown pants, and a um, brown belt tanging right here, some silver patches, and some silver patching on his boot. Last but not least is Roxy. She has this really nice hair piece. It's a hair bun. See, her hair is like an updo. She has this really mad face. And she has like a little bandana above her eyes. In the back, she has a really nice happy face. <laughs> she has a side armor right there with some points. Her torso is silver and brown. She has like a chain link right there, like a wheel. She has a belly belt, which has flowers, plus a belt right here. She has brown gloves, and in the back, it's silver and brown. And her legs are brown with some silver uh, plates, and there's a brown belt hanging here. I did show some of the videos on Instagram of the inside of the armor room and barbershop and Lucy's bedroom and the inside of Statue of Liberty crown. So I'll show it again for those who don't follow me on Instagram. And yes, it's a different table, but I just wanted to show you the inside. And if you want to see the interior of the rest of the build, I have another video I did about a week and a half ago. So check it out. Now, as you can see, this is such a beauty. And I'm going to be taking a closer look of the exterior of the set. See the coffee unchained? And then you open the doors and you can see a little bit of the inside. That's neat. There's these stickers out here that has a coffee cup with these skeletons on it. It's a wheel here. This is just decoration. There is this outside patio, as you can see, that has a little table, an umbrella, a little place to sit. And the scissors here, you can see these little tubes, which is pretty nice. And this is Lucy's uh, bedroom, which I showed you the interior last week. And I just took this, so it'll be easier to take off. But this is the top of her place. And you can see there's a little rag here, which is cute, like a door, a reef. This says keep out. You can see her bed in there. There's this little light right here. That's pretty nice. And then there's this skeleton up here. That's so cool. With this mohawk. 
and her sofa, sofa chair. There's a little chimney here, little speaker. Very cool. That's the top of her, I guess her apartment, her hideout. So that's pretty nice looking. I'll put that later on to fix it. I'm gonna show you a little bit more, get a closer look on that. Where the scissors are at, this is a barbershop, which you really can't see. I showed the interior on the, um, the Instagram videos, but I'm going to show you that in a little bit. You'll see it. And then there's this little uh, armor room. This is the armor room, which is stickered here, you can tell. There's this little ladder here that you can go up, which is pretty awesome. And we can show this. Da, da, da. There he is. <laughs> is the barber shop and the I think uh, room of armor so let me give you a closer look before it starts getting closed up that's the barber shop as you can see there's a chair there and um, this is the room of armor very cool features on this set just love it and just right here, you can see it says Coffee Unchained. You can see his bedroom, because there's a picture there of Emmett, if you see right there. And then you can see that's her bed. And on the other side, there is a sign that says Keep Out, and that's a little cloth. And these are mailboxes. This is a police station, and as you can see, there's huge speakers so that I guess they can announce things loudly. And if you open this up, see, it opens. That's a bad cop and scribble cop, I guess their picture. <laughs> and this is where the garbage was at. Here is the basketball net. Second floor to the barber shop and has this crazy looking ladder. And there's this, uh, the rooftop here of the barber shop. And that leads to um, Lucy's apartment and her second floor here. See, there's a ladder. There's these two mailboxes that you can somehow open. There you go. And here is a little part under here that has like a broken glass, some windows, an awning, which is stickered right here next to the, uh, the hoop. And this is Batman's merch and stuff. It says Bititude. And on this floor, the third floor, you can see there's a tank, fire extinguisher, and there's stairs to go up to the torch. Here is the gym. As you can see, there is a weightlifter with a weight. It says Brick SQ. There is a trident here and a loaf of bread in this garbage can, which is odd. There's a sticker right here. I love the second part of the, um, the gym. There's a, a diner here. This is the gym. As you can see, there's a, a boxing bag right there. And you can see part of the bench with the weight right there. And this has a little stand, which has a hot dog. Uh, on the table with a little chair. There is ketchup and mustard. It's a stove with a pan and an egg. And I love this little dagger going through the hamburger. There's a sticker here that has fries, burger, and a hot dog. And there is a french fry in here, which you'll see later. And the ladder going up. There's the spa, which is awesome. There's this nice little shower, soap, and bubbles and there's a skeleton under here like this skeletons in your closet which is funny there's a spa with a frog and there's the little other tubes and stuff it's pretty cool this is mt5571 light this is a, like a little uh, I don't know brick fire grill fish this is where that secret compartment is at right here where the uh, Arm and oh, arm and egg is that bat merch forgot that part. This is a lookout coffee shop and diner. I love that. This is all stickered. Let's see if you can see it better. 
See it all stickered? It's pretty nice with the head. And it looks like the Terminator and a Mohawk. Pretty awesome. Speaker here. And you can see the camper down there in the bottom. There's this little um, lunch box. And this is where the lifeguard is at. There's some uh, surfer surfboards, fire pit. There's tubes under there. And then you can go up to the second floor and you can see the side here of the barbershop, which has these two doors that open. That's pretty nice looking. You can see a little bit of the barbershop in there. See the seat? And you close it. I love these stickers here. The scissor sticker is like copper. And right here, the barbershop symbol, which is copper and silver. Very nice touch. The speaker here on the side, and there's the news. So this is like a little newsstand also. Very, very cool. And here, as you can see, this is like a platform, and these are fingers of the Statue of Liberty holding the platform. That is pretty awesome. And you can move them. Look at that. Pretty neat touch. And now she's gripping it. Let's see it. There you go. Pretty cool. And then right here, this ladder. There's some more um, bins here with fork and a sword and a sticker piece right there. Here's the rooftop diner. Just wanted to make sure I gave you a closer look. And as you can see, there is a hand in here. <laughs> Weird. We're cooking in our. This is the back of the Statue of Liberty head. This is her hair, which they did such a great job with. And look at this. I love, especially this color is gorgeous. But they did such a great job with her head. And these chains that go up and connect to the torch and to the stairs is pretty awesome. And this is the back, which I wish they would have had something there to cover that part, but that still, that doesn't matter to me. Still a gorgeous set. And I'm just giving you a little better look of the top part. Here's a closer look of the Statue of Liberty, her face. And as you can see, they put uh, some aging on her, which is basically just putting some army colored green to make her look more aged. And I love how they did these hot dogs right here. <laughs> Her lips look awesome. They did such a great job. The curves here, oh my goodness. These things, how they did this. This is the top of her head. I just want to show you how easy it is to remove the top piece so that you can see the interior of her head. They did a little secret compartment, which is pretty cool. Here it is. Isn't that awesome? Let's see if we can get you in there a little bit better. There it is. So cool. I have a little coffee mug here, telescope, a little um, picture right there, and they can sit in there with no problem. Let me see if I can put a figure in there. Hold on. There's a figure. She's right there, Harlequin, looking out. There's a telescope, a mug, a little picture there. I'm not sure if that's a seat or not. There's a picture right on the side. That's a sticker. And on this side, there's another sticker. There. The Statue of Liberty has these nice points here. I love the color, the sage, and these are like rubber pieces right here. But you can also lift to reveal the other side of the secret compartment under her crown. Here is the Statue of Liberty's arm holding the torch. So there is a platform here that can be another lookout. So I put Emmett, thought it would be a pretty nice touch showing him right there. And there's a little fan here. And here is a little test telescope. That's another platform. This is the back of the torch. I love how they did this. They, the colors on that torch is so cool. They did the, like an orange yellow and then they put a little yellow here, you know, for the aging effect. There's this platform that's another lookout, which is pretty awesome. And you can have a few minifigures on here. So nice. Well, you can have this standing here. Well, it's on an angle, so a little hard. There you go. 
but this is so nice and they have these chains just dangling from there here's the side of the torch and you can see this gorgeous flame and there's some handrails here you can put Emmett on here and here is Lucy For some reason Lucy doesn't want to stay on anything don't know why there you go her hair is a mess <laughs> There she goes. And then you can see a better look. As you can see, I put all the minifigures all over the set. So you already know this is an A plus for me. I had so much fun building it. That's why I took my time. And the minifigures are outstanding. This is such a great display piece and fun to play with. Leave your thoughts in the comments below and leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed my video. Bye.